What is going on, guys? Wiser here, and I am bringing you the recap of the last war for 2.0. Uh, it was against this South Korean clan, conveniently named Korea, uh, spelled with a C, though, actually. Um, so, you know, they used 50 of 50 attacks. They had a bit of a war plan put together, it seemed. They gave it their best, so good for them. We're going to jump over here and check out what happened. Uh, 68 to 60 was the final score. Uh, like I had said, you know, they did give it their best, so hats off to these guys. 50 of 50 attacks used. Um, they got, you know, they missed a few of our lower nines and used quite a few bully attacks on our top nine. So that was kind of ultimately ended up being their demise. But as you can see, you know, 12 three stars to only our 19. So, uh, like I said, they, they gave it their best. Uh, we only missed a two star on their number one. Uh, really, that's the only stars we missed because uh, we did clear all the nines and did have a one and two and three TH10 triples to show you guys. So, going to be another good good recap here. Uh, just kind of fly down here. Yeah, we definitely threed all those nines. Nice job, 2.0. Good war, gentlemen. Let's just jump right in. And, of course, we got a KNX triple to show you. <clears throat> what I liked about this tank was... KNS is just so aggressive on this attack. Like, watch how fast he deploys all its units. So the Giants go down on either side. He's going to drop a Wizard behind each of them to make sure he creates a bit of a funnel. He's going to drop the Queen in there. Uh, he actually it was very smart, I thought, about this because he lets the Arch Towers lock on the Queen and then drops his King. Uh, ideally, it's, it's because he wants his, art, uh, his AQ to die. Um quicker than his king uh, because he doesn't want her locking on the CC troops and taking them out but instantly like as soon as the queen goes down right that air defense is down uh, it sends in the air portion that was right here haste go down instantly he's got a few balloons on each of those defenses and that little bit of a horseshoe double freeze rage one and a rage two go down just going to push everything through these teslas or sorry infernos right into those teslas just a sexy attack, so aggressive, just ripping through this base right now. Finally got balloons over that little bit of a, that quad Tesla. Like that was really his only problem. That hound goes over to that uh, remaining air defense. He drops a haste, uh, that last haste finally. Uh, just going to push everything very quickly through that last Tesla and the last air defense. And it's clean up. What a beastly attack. Nice job, KNX. <laughs> like just so aggressive. <laughs> just instant deployment. Finally, the hound burst, but it's just not enough because there's only two buildings remaining. Tree stars, bitch. Nice job, buddy. Uh, okay. What else do we have here? Canx again. There's a surprise. <clears throat> so Canx, this is a uh, basically the exact same army comp. Um, you're going to drop a giant. Uh, the only thing was he didn't bring wizards with this. He doesn't need to create a funnel because there's no buildings on the outside. He's just going to drop the one giant, drop his queen, start clearing out that trash. Uh, again, let that arch tower lock onto that queen. Then drops the king and another giant behind. I thought that was a little strange, but uh, maybe you just forgot to drop the second giant. I don't know. Uh, so more wall breakers go in. Open up that wall. is going to allow access now to that queen. Moves everything in. Queen has now locked on. Air defense is down. King is locked on to the defense of Queen. Down she goes. And instant deployment again on the air, air attack. I love it. So two hounds in. Here we're going to see a few hastes go down. One haste, two hastes, three hastes. Oh, maybe he's saving one in the bag. I don't know. But another haste got to go down here. Freeze goes down. Always worried about it. Like just, just smart. Just knows exactly what spells he needs to be focusing on and when. Uh, so that freeze goes down. Here comes that other raise. That there's that haste finally, kind of pushing everything up into that inferno. We've got balloons right on top of the inferno. By the time the freeze wears out, still in the rage, going to move right on over to the Teslas and Expos. Finish those things off, and he's got a hound still unpopped there. Finally, it goes, but he's got balloons pretty much on every defense remaining that can uh, target air. So a uh, couple non-air targeting defenses to go, and it is clean up. Just a monster KNX. Unbelievable. Nice job, buddy. Sexy war. The base has helped you a little bit, but... <laughs> South Fence with another TH10 triple. Love it. 
Uh, so this is definitely newer TH10, but taking nothing away. Like once those infernos go down, the game changes completely. So uh, self friends brings a very similar attack to what we just saw from KNX. Uh, but uh, I kind of like this little backside balloon there. I don't know if that was a, uh, you just got a one for one trade there, but um, goes ahead and sends in a golem. So there's where the difference is. But I've said this before, when you're a newer, when you don't have 40, 40 heroes, Sometimes you need to compensate a little bit. That Inferno Tower there meant he could not just do a suicide hero, right? Like, the, like he just was not going to make the Queen. He was not, not going to make the air defense. So he needed that golem. So it just makes the adjustments, right? So um, he does have three air defense. They also are uh, Town Hall 9 air defense at the same time, though. So uh, kind of accounting for that, only three uh, Lava Hounds, but it doesn't really matter. Like I said, it's a, like a lot of Town Hall 9 defenses, so you can make these adjustments and still come away with three-star like self defense does here. So the trip Teslas or quad Teslas, sorry, they uh, go down, but the haste goes down with six balloons coming in. Everything is targeting that Lava Hound, so there's just no worry for those balloons whatsoever. Just storms that corner of the base. Down goes the Expos. Everything's going to move right on over to the Wiz Tower and that remaining air defense. Rages and haste like all over the base. South fence, just a sexy attack. Another just hyper aggressive <laughs> Lalo on these bases. I love it. Like the times on these attacks must be like a minute, minute, like oh, well over a minute remaining, especially with the new 30 seconds. Bam, bam, bam. It's cleanup time. Air defense is down, cannon, see you later. Look at all the pops, too. Really wish I knew what the total time on that attack was. I would have to say minute 30 remaining, at least. Nice job, South Fence. <clears throat> all right, so we're going to hop down to a couple TH9 beauties. JJ brought a beastly attack here with 10 Valks. Uh, and the double jump, the good old double jump Valk, you know, it's so viable. Drops those wizards right on the corners. Golems are in. He's going to uh, open up that wall there, jump into the core, jump again out of the core, and, and you'll just kind of see how this plays out. Creates a nice big funnel. And I like when those buildings, like, sorry, those uh, storages are left kind of nearby because they take uh, your funneling troops a little bit of time. Uh, see, now, if uh, JJ was a, a little... Um, impatient. I think if he had dropped it when that elixir storage was still up, everything would have went in. But this part takes a bit of a walk. So um, when you're planning your Valk tax, look at those buildings and kind of determine what's the last building that's going to go down, right? He had more units on this side, so that elixir storage went down. So that one was still up, which kind of yanked the first units. But as soon as that elixir storage went down, everything else he dropped, the other like six Valks or whatever going to that core. So uh, if his king and Valks had all his Valks that went into the core, like this base would have just been instantly shredded um not that it isn't because he does have a few valks in there his third level 30 queen is in there just freaking ripping everything apart um but you guys know what i mean like jj definitely did not plan for that uh king ends up kind of walking look at his beastly king still at full health also i like what jj did he really compensated you'll see him drop balloons all down here it already dropped a couple to help the king and valks out uh so he just buys them time he takes out those outer defenses that they can't reach and protects them, right? Like you're protecting your uh, your kill squad. And that's kind of what you do with Govalo and Gova. You got to watch where the pathing is of your Valks and your, and your King and stuff. And you really want to just try and deploy your Hogs or Loons to defend them, right? And help them out because um, they're doing the majority of the work. Generally, you're like, you're healing them uh, and keeping them going through a big core of the base. And then you can kind of feed in Loons or Hogs on the outside. So it's exactly what JJ did here, even though he had like, I think three Valks in his King or four Valks walk. Um, was very patient, waited till that went down, dropped the rest at that jump, and everything worked out. Sexy job, JJ. Good recovery. Good patience. I don't even know if I'd call that a recovery, but good attack nonetheless. All right, Sean had a nice six-star warrior. I'm going to jump in and check this one out. Um, this is the one I chose out of the two. He had two really nice attacks. It was hard to choose. Uh, but, of course, because he brought six Valks, he sold me on it. Uh, very symmetrical base. Um, not generally a base I would think about Valky myself. Um, but Sean just rips it apart. Uh, so funnel goes down. Everything's going down. I love the minions on the outside. Uh, high hit point 
uh, storage over there. Um, again, another, like I said, that storage kind of locks his queen and stuff onto it, so it takes a little bit of time, and then boom, as soon as the CC comes out, you're going to see these Valks and everything go into the base. Here comes the king. Valks parade coming in from behind. Uh, really no danger of them getting hit by anything or wandering at all because just a huge funnel straight. Everything just goes right towards that jump. And see, boom, four hogs instantly helping protect while everything's targeting those Valks. You send in a few hogs to take out those defenses so they're untouched. See, those four hogs have taken out three defenses now and there's still three of them alive because everything's been tanked up to this point. So you only lost one hog from that initial deployment and just kind of feeding them, feeding them, feeding them on the outside here. Finally, a heal goes down. If you can do this too, guys, see how the, the hogs are in the heal now at the same time as his Valks and his king? Like, if you can plan the pathing like that, you're going to get results like Sean does here because uh, he's getting, again, he's even getting healing on the box here, right there on the edge. And they walk into the heal again, healed up from that bomb, even that gold mites in there. So double value on his heals. You're not just healing the hogs, you're healing your kill squad and your freaking hogs together. You're just going to have success like this. Swag hate or swag poison in the bag. Just kill this base, Sean. Six star war, buddy. Beauty. Motherfucking tree stars. I gotta start posting our little uh, tree stars, bitch. Uh, occasionally in the in the recaps here. Uh, what else we got? Twenty four arcs. I'm sure one of arcs' attacks. Um, arcs is an awesome attacker. Uh, had a six star war here without a king, which I thought was awesome. So I just gotta zoom out here. Uh, <laughs> this one, this attack was just pretty insane. So I kind of like the giant it creates a little bit of time for these wizards to create a, a, a nice funnel, uh, for the queen. He really does not want the queen going that way. You want to go in, uh, straight down to the nine o'clock poison goes down to kind of help out with the CC. She works on that dragon for a little bit and then just continues this walk and gets an insane value out of the walk. Uh, it's notice the weird armor comp 10 valves, but also eight balloons. So it's kind of like an archer queen walk, um, cold blooded, go Valo, I guess. <laughs> Just a crazy, crazy attack here. Uh, you're gonna see. I'm gonna fast forward this time too because it does take a lot of super long time. She just wanders all the way down here. Takes out the wizard tower. Just taking a one defensive time. Like there's no real danger. Okay, so uh, gets to this point, opens up the wall as soon as that archer tower locks on. Look how low the health gets. Boom, Rage goes down, hits the ability just in case. Probably didn't need to, the healer, but that was a good choice, I think. Locks onto the defensive queen, air defense is down. Stacio, <laughs> that took like almost a minute. I don't know, maybe not quite, but uh, that queen walk just got the clan castle troops, two air defense, and the defensive queen, and about 30% of that base. So insane value, and all of a sudden in comes one golem with 10 Valks. Remember, no king for this this raid either. Um, so the 10 Valks definitely compensate for that. They go in together, the defensive king, and they're just gonna continue down like this path of buildings. And keep in mind, we got eight balloons and a hog, even with a rage and haste in the bag. Uh, so as soon as that air defense goes down, you're gonna start seeing some balloons get sprinkled in here on these Teslas and stuff. And it's GG. Cleanup Wizard goes down on the outside. There come the balloons, two, two, and three, and another one backing things up. Got a rage there uh, for his Valx, too. I like that. And then here comes the haste to move those balloons right on top of those Teslas. Expo, cannon, only things remaining. Look at the uh, haste just fly that balloon over there. Keeps that hog alive. Everything's going on that Expo, and it is cleanup time. Nice attack arcs. The old six star war without a king. Nice job. Cool. So, uh, another war in the bag, another green straight for 2.0. Fantastic job, gentlemen. Um, uh, getting caught up on a lot of content. Uh, got some good stuff coming. I'm promising that video uh, about what's going on with 2.0 um, and how everything's going to work moving into the future. Um, we're doing a lot of sweet things. We're completely redesigning our website. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff for me to, to for me to show you in the in the future. So stay tuned. I'm gonna call it a night though. It's getting late, so that'll do for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help it bag that next three star. And until then, I'm out.